Okay. And once we can clear the cart, it's a smooth sailing from here. We just want to set up those functions. We want to add the functionality. And yes, we will take a look at the action, what it looks like and why we're looking for the payload. And I know I said this already a million different times, but since right now, we can modify the state directly. There's tons of ways how you can set this up. Now I purposely kind of tried to showcase the mutation approach, where yes, of course, in these examples for increase and decrease, we can return a new array. But I purposely just found the exact item and then updated the amount plus or minus. And also, of course, you can combine increase and decrease into one function, let's say you can call this toggle. And of course, you'll just have to provide here more values, whether you're increasing decrease, and that could be your challenge. For now, we just want to focus on a remove item. And the first thing that I want to showcase is the fact that we can access the payload. So whatever we pass in, because in order to get the specific item in order to remove it, I do need to get the ID. Correct. Um, if you were paying attention in the card item, we did the structure ID. However, we haven't used it here. So this is something that we will pass into the function. And essentially, as far as the remove item, I'll get it from action that payload because that is a structure, I'll name this item ID. And then I just want to set equal state card items to the new array. Now I wasn't doing this purposely. Again, there's tons of ways how you can set it up. But in my case, I just thought that filter is the fastest one. So we go to state dot card items, we filter it, we look for a specific item that does not match the ID, and we return that into this card items. So if the ID matches, so whatever we pass in matches to the ID, then that item won't get returned. And in the process, we'll remove it from this array. So let's try this one out where in the cart slice, let's set up that remove item. So I'm going to go here with remove item. And first, I just want to showcase how we can access the payload. So first one, is the state. So we access the state here, then I'm going to go with action. And later, I'll showcase how we can structure that. And for time being, let's just look for the action. And now let's think about it, where do we want to access all of these functions, the remove items, increase, decrease, and not calculate totals. So only these three. Well, we want to get that in the card item. So first, in the card slice, we want to export that again, What's really cool is the fact that the name is exactly the same. We don't really need to think about it. And as I said, it shouldn't be remove items. It should be remove item. My apologies. For some reason, I just keep adding those S's there. Then let's navigate to the card item. First, we want to import the remove item. So we're looking for remove item. And notice how right away we get that named import. And also we want to get that dispatch. So let's just set it up over here, where we'll say import, then use dispatch and that is coming from react redux, then at the very top, we're going to go here with const dispatch. And that will be equal to use dispatch, let's invoke it. And then let's look for that remove button. So now basically, every time we'll click on a button, we will remove that specific item. So let's say here on click. Again, we do want to pass in the arrow function first. And then let's say dispatch. And we'll go with a remove item. And now let's pass in the ID. So first thing what you'll see, once you click is the log in the console. So let's click and check it out. In here, we see two things. First, we see type. So notice how that is right away already set up for us. Like I said, we don't need to do anything right away has cart and then remove item. So this is the action that we're dispatching. And we also get the payload. Now, can you pass in the payload as an object? Absolutely. But if we pass in as a simple property, then we have 
payload is equal to whatever. So knowing this, we can set up rest of the functionality where in the cart slice, I'll assign action that payload equal to an ID const. And I think I'm gonna call this product ID or sorry, no, I'll call this item ID. So const item ID is equal to action payload. And then let's set up the new value for the state cart items. State again, yes, we're modifying this. We're gonna go with cart items is equal to, and now let's access the old value, basically before the update. And we can do that with state cart items. Then let's run filter. And like I said, if the ID matches, the item won't be returned. So essentially we'll remove it from our cart items array. I'm gonna call this items. And I'm gonna go with implicit return where I'm gonna say, if item ID does not match the item ID only then return it from the array. And as a result, check it out. We can click and we just keep removing the items from our bag. Again, yes, we're not affecting the amount as well as the total, all of that is coming up, but we should be able to remove all of the items from our cart, be it with clear cart or individually by clicking on the remove button.